What is going on guys, Multiplayer HD here and I am back with the League MVP or Player of the Season, Valeri Play Review. Everything changes. So MVP Valeri, this guy has a very nice card and with plus 10 to his pace and plus 10 to his shooting it definitely helped improve his card a lot more than compared to his standard gold card actually was. His main standout strength to me was his passing, his passing was phenomenal, never really made us uh, an error in that area of his game. His dribbling, I know it only says 85 dribbling, but general ball control, composure on the ball was very good. His work rates, having that high medium helped him get forward and get him into the box and create chances. And the shot power, I've always said a lot this year I like shot power and having a high shot power definitely does help from him as well. His agility did let him down though I have to say, that's one of his weaknesses, only 80 agility, I did kind of feel that. With all the other stats being so high I felt trying to get past players kind of like a real struggle for him, he felt really sluggish. And his league, that's a big letdown. He does have a good nation, Argentine, you can link him up, you see me link up in a nice little team there. But overall the league does kind of set you back to use just the MLS which haven't got the greatest of players. Yes, you can use Alessandrini, which I know everyone loves using, but overall, he's not the greatest of league. Good nationality though, which does help, and his stamina. Right now, at this stage of FIFA, stamina is not too important, but come later stage in FIFA, the stamina of 75 definitely will not be useful, especially with players who are getting informs and team of seasons with stamina boosts up to the high 90s, will definitely win rings around this guy. He's going to cost you between 18 to 30,000 coins, I do think for that price, he is worth it, because it's an 85 rated, let's say, inform card, for that price and it is a good card and I would personally use him as a super sub. I wouldn't go above the 20 to 22,000 coin mark buying him as I do think unless we're going to use him regularly in a team or as a super sub he wouldn't be worth it then. But overall for this price he is pretty much a bargain. An average rating of 8.4 and an overall 8 out of 10 for me. He does have a few flaws like I said with his agility, his league and his stamina and sometimes being a bit inconsistent in front of goal. But other than that a very nice card for his price and with the 87 shooting, 87 passing, he will be a real joy to use in the right hands. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new and I will speak to you next time. Peace.